Yo, 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 yo. Um, it's John in the house. I know it's been a while. I miss you guys. I'm back. I got a special guest. She's already on the line. What's going on? What's going on, Elsie? Much. How are you? That's the real question. How, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I take a little break for like three months, four months. I think it's been like five months. Probably like five. Like five months. But you've been doing great things though. Yeah, you know, shout out to my to my mentors. You know, I've been been busting my butt. You know what I mean? And uh, they've been teaching me a lot of different stuff. And if you guys don't know, I'm actually a realtor now. I switched up. I do a lot of uh, real estate stuff now. So this is what the podcast is about. Still going to be funny. I'm still going to have special guests. I'm just going to have different, you know, realtors come on the show. People that do with real estate. People like Tax Steve Wolf came on the show. Like people like that, you know. Shout out to him, by the way. We have a new listing on the market here in Deltona, Florida. Um, it's pretty cool. It's awesome. I actually did an open house on Saturday. Um, Elsie, next Saturday, if, it, if it's still on the market, you should swing by. I will definitely come by. I have a, I have a couple questions, though. Oh, really? Okay. Is the, yeah, I do, actually, because I did see the listing, and I'm interested in that house. Is it a single-family home? Yeah, it's a, it's a single-family home. It's a three-bedroom, two baths. It has laminate flooring, tile, high ceilings. It's, it's extremely nice. Yeah, you got to come check it out. When you get the chance, for sure. No, I definitely will. How many square feet is it? Uh, it's actually 1,800 square feet. Uh, I thought it was actually bigger than that. I mean, when you walk in, it's like, there's a lot of space. It has a giant kitchen. I know I know you like a, a giant kitchen with women, period. You know what I'm saying? It's super important. Cause of course. Especially with the family and, and all that. It also has a, a fenced-in backyard. Uh, it has a captivating Florida room. Do you, do you know what a Florida room is? I've heard of it, but not really. Can it's you please like, explain it? Yeah, it's like it's like a patio, but it's like insulated so it doesn't get too hot or like too oh, cold. Cool. And then it has like windows on the side, so you can make it into another room if you wanted to, but or just keep it as a patio. But it's it's super nice because it, it gets super hot in Florida. So I know, and the mosquitoes. I'm not a fan of mosquitoes. If I get bit by a mosquito, I'm done. I gotta I gotta go home. <laughs> Because how much is that um, listing going for right now? Uh, it's actually going for three fifty five right now. Wow, in a thousand eight hundred square feet, you said? Yes. Yep, one thousand eight hundred square feet. It so has, is that, is that like the regular now I'm for sorry? houses, like for that, like that price range for for that square footage? Well, I mean the location. The location is kind of like a big deal. It's right next to the supermarket, right, right off of uh, Providence. It has everything there. You know, you got barber shops. You had a Winn Dixie. Now it's a Fresco, uh, KFC, and it's like three minutes down the road from uh, from the St. Johns River, Green Springs. I mean, it's a perfect family like friendly location. I think that's why it's priced at that point. And also, I mean, it's the nicest house on the block, in my opinion. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So they have HOA. That's the real. No HOA. I mean, I like that personally because I I want to paint my house whatever. Paint. I want to yeah, nobody wants to pay HOA. It's just that, like at the end of the day, it's it's a it's an extra bill. You know, if you can afford it, do it. You know, because it, there's also positive sides to it, like security. Actually, you sell your property, it's going to be worth even more because your neighbors. You know, let's say that you have a property you want to sell, you take care of it, and your next door neighbor has. You know, it looks horrible. At the end of the day, I it's gonna it's gonna affect the the perspective of the neighborhood. It is. You know, the price point. So when everybody takes care of their, their lawn and everybody takes care of their, their home and there's nothing crazy going on, it, the location, you know, it makes it better. So that's why it's priced. It's crazy because, you know, you see beautiful homes and bad locations and they're not worth that much because location's everything in real estate. Yeah, that is true. That is true. So you said it was in Deltona. Deltona, like how has the Deltona's growth been over the couple, past, past couple of years? Man, you know, I, I've been in Deltona pretty much all my life. I was raised in DeBerry, Florida. It's like 10 minutes away. But I moved to Deltona when I was, man, I was probably like 13 years old. I'm 28 now. So I graduated high school here. I've seen the growth. I've seen the amount of traffic move down here. I mean, the prices for the homes here are perfect. You know, you're 30 minutes down from the beach. You're 30 minutes the opposite way to central Florida, which is Orlando. And, you know, you can't beat that. 
you know, that's the main reason why I haven't left Daltona was because, you know, I'm a beach guy. I like to be at the beach, by the water, by the springs. People don't realize this property right here, it's called, it's a 768 Farrington Drive, Daltona, Florida, by the way. We're doing open houses every Saturday, uh, 11 to 2. So if you guys want to come check me out, I'll be there having mimosas or whatever. You know what I mean? I have some cookies. Um, but anyways, it's, it's three minutes down the road from Green Springs. And Green Springs is nice. It's a very nice area. There's a park. You ever been there? You ever been there, Elsie? Green Springs, yes. It's beautiful. It's nice. And then you got the boat ramp. They're actually redoing it so you can go yeah. to the St. John's River. You know that the St. John's River and the Nile River are the only rivers in the world that, that go the opposite way than every... I did not know that. Yeah. Hey, yo. Yeah, it's crazy. Crazy stuff. You learn something new every day. Yes. Um, have there been any offers on the home? Yeah. Actually, I have... I just... That's funny because... Somebody just texted me now. They're like, "Hey, we saw your property on Zillow. Um, you know, we want to we want to check it out. We're we're interested in buying the property. Can I give you a call tomorrow morning?" I said, "Yeah, absolutely." You know? Yeah, they'll tell us a hot spot. Like everybody wants to move over here. Everybody. 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 The location's perfect, you know? Because you don't want to be too yeah. close to the ocean. No, but you want to be like in between all I'm telling you like what you said, being like close to Orlando is key always. Cuz Orlando. Not in Orlando, but close to it. Mm-hmm. and how long has the home been on the market uh it's been on the market since the 25th the 25th oh, so like of recent. This, yeah, recent 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 it was built in 2005 oh, okay and you already have offers yeah yeah oh yeah and then like you know what's crazy i put it on the market that friday at noon and i had already a couple like realtors hit me up say hey you know we want to see the property and we were actually just setting it up. We're staging it for, for open house the next day. So we couldn't do it. But uh, that's a good sign. You know, you list something on the MLS and it's, you're already getting relatives, in, you know, offering to, to do showings. Like, yeah, that's, like that's, that's really good. Like that's extremely good. So I was just telling the seller that. And uh, the day before yesterday, open houses are like super important because you, no, get, they are. you get so many different leads. You know, you get hot leads, even if they don't like the property that they see. They're still looking. You get their information. Um, I had somebody come in uh, on the open house and they were just like, hey, um, I, I got your flyer. And it was funny because the day before yesterday, I went around the neighborhood. I got flyers and I just started passing them out, like leaving door hangers. You know, marketing, letting people know, hey, I'm listening. To, I'm listening. I'm listing the property down the road from your house. If you want to check it out and see how it looks and see what it's priced, maybe you want to sell your property. You know, or maybe you know somebody that wants to buy this. So that's true. So it was funny that he said that. It made me feel good because I'm like, man, you know, actually, wow, you actually got the door hanger. He's like, yeah, you know, I got your door hanger, and I just wanted to swing by, live around the neighborhood, and I thought it was great. So, guys, you're not crazy. Go walk around the neighborhood and 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 knock on doors and let people know, hey, I'm I'm a realtor. I'm selling the property down the road. Whenever you hear the word real estate, just think of me. You know, I'm not trying to sell you mm-hmm. nothing. And you never yeah. know. You never know what will happen. Yes, that's true. I have one more question for you. Kind of the hot question I feel like everybody asks when they're going to an open house. Mm-hmm. Why are the owners selling their home? Because it's worth extremely more than what they bought it for. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, a great reason. Yeah, a great freaking reason, right? I mean, it's a seller's market right now. There's no inventory. Right now, that's why people are like bidding for for houses and stuff. You know, back in the day, like I had a client tell me, they're like, man, I'm not used to this, man. You know, like, you know, we put in an offer and we'll usually get it. I'm like, well, you know, this is not the market. Everyone wants to move to Florida now. That's true. Florida, Florida is everyone from, from up north is moving out to Florida. So if you have listings, you're just sitting back and you're like, hey, you just pick which which offers the best one for your for your seller. And um Hopefully I get to, to list your dad's house. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, that would be, that would be, no, that'd be amazing. That's another for, home. That's another home in Deltona, Florida. That's, that's extremely nice. Again, guys, this is 768 Farrington drive, Deltona, Florida. We do open houses every Saturday, 11 to two. Again, I don't think it's going to last long. That's my personal opinion on it. The house is beautiful. It's maintained a uh, beautiful backyard. It's a, it's a perfect family home, even an investment. Even if you want to raise your family and, you know, you want to move up, 
use it as a stepping stone for your dream home and rent that one out. That's just a thought. Yes. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have anything else to say for the, for the well, Dope Talk family? Love, uh, yes. I would love to tell everyone the Dope Talk family to follow at Venner Company on Instagram. Okay, okay. We make candles and we sell home decor. Yes, they do. I have one here, actually. Yes. Burning. Burning up right we, now. Yeah. Okay, guys. I mean, this is it's Dulce Vanilla. Like, guys, I smell this and it just... Man, fellas, if you light this up with, with any lady coming through, light this up. I guarantee you it'll change the mood, all right? But yeah, shout out to <laughs> Shout out to you guys. Can you hear that, by the way? You hear the clapping? Yes, I can. Yep, yes, I can. Okay, well, I love you very much. And uh, that wraps it up for Dope Talk TV. Every week here, we're just talking about real estate. This is what we do. We're going to have special guests. Check us out.